Hey guys, this is Kenny the Messy Soper, and um, yeah, what you're looking at is a big old mess over here because I am getting ready for a craft fair tomorrow morning, and um, I know you guys always tell me to um, show you what I do and how I prepare for my craft fair, and it just gets so busy that I forget, but I say I'm going to try my best not to forget this time. So, what I have here, um, labels, I was just cleaning off the table, I was packing some orders, my box of ink pens, stamps, all that fun stuff. Uh, don't judge me. It's going to be messy. Every time I have craft fairs, it's always messy. So for those of you who keep it all neat, good for you. <laughs> I just can't. So this stuff right here, I'm going to be um, putting in this packaging. This is my shrink packaging. And then I'm going to seal it and then use my heat gun. And uh, what I've done already is uh, all of these soaps right here are going to the craft fair with me and then I have uh, those two boxes over there they're going with me so um, that's what I'm doing right now and uh, that's about it for right now so then I guess I'll film what we do after that so I'll see you in a second or longer than a second I got like two more hours worth of work so see you then guys so now I have all my soaps packed up and in totes and I sat them on the stairs and Gabe took them out to the car. So this is a night before the craft fair. Now what I like to do is, this is my tote that I keep all of my like displays and setups for my craft fair. Um, I like to just kind of go through it and clean it out because honey after a craft fair I just kind of throw everything in there and I say I'll deal with it later. So I'm going to take one of these clear bowls um, for samples my sample soaps freebies um, so I'm going to set that to the side and then take the rest out and then like I said I'm just going to kind of go through this and sort things out make sure I got everything I need I got my tablecloth well, this is my table skirts from last year and then um, I have all my clips to keep my table skirt on like that I already bought some new tablecloth tops because mine got kind of ready actually this one's pretty good keep that and then I have a clear one that I sit on top I need to kind of shake that out so I'm going to go through this tote and see oh my signage too I'm going to go through this tote see what I'm going to take what I'm not going to take sort everything out and then I'm going to show you the next step okay so now that I have um, my uh, table decoration being cleaned out I know I'm talking like kind of sluggish but <laughs> I'm pooped so but I'm still um, on a good track as far as time it's not super crazy late but these are the things that you want to make sure you have you should always write down a checklist put it in your phone or write it down but um, I didn't do one just because I I pretty much have everything I need right now but um, I always take this little container with me what's in here is Sorry, I'm working with one hand here. Oh, geez. But what's in here is thumbtacks. And I got some thumbtacks and some paper clips because you never know when you're going to need them. I use these thumbtacks for my table. Like if my skirt keeps falling off or whatever mishap I may have. And even to hang my banners, I just kind of fold my banner over on my table and stick the thumbtacks in them. And they hold it securely in place. Make sure you take a couple of ink pens. Um, don't forget your card reader. If you accept credit card, that's in my purse, actually. So I'm okay with having that. Take a pair of scissors. You never know when you need scissors. Be sure to take a roll of paper towel or individual paper towels. Because I think that was year before last. I had my cup of coffee sitting on the table. And my mom didn't know. She pulled the table and knocked over my entire cup of coffee like 15 minutes before the fair started so didn't even have any napkin thankfully we were at a high school so we were able to get it up but just be prepared you want to take a uh, grocery bag for trash um, whether it be wrappers or whatever you may need it for just take something to keep everything kind of con confined into one place and also you want to take a tape dispenser um, be sure to put it in a bag by itself or fold the tape over like this so it doesn't get stuck to everything on the inside of your tote and um, that's pretty much as far as your essentials um, I can't think of anything else you would need oh 
yeah, on your checklist, if you have banners for your table, make sure you go through, and I know you guys are just staring at this, but make sure you go through and uh, check all your banners. Make sure you have your soap, number one, or whatever you're selling for this craft fair. And um, I have t-shirts for my company, so I've washed those. Of course, I can't forget them because we're going to wear them tomorrow. And then either you can take everything and put it in your car the night before, which I've done before. It just makes life so much easier or sit it all by the door. So when you're ready to leave, you're not running all over the house trying to get everything together. All right, guys. So that's it for my tips for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and do just as what I told you guys that you should do. And um, I'm going to get my butt in bed and get ready for tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good morning, everybody. So we are on our way to the craft fair. I am pooped. Well, I'm not really poop. I'm just not awake yet. And Gabe's over drinking his coffee. Say hi, Gabe. Hi, Gabe. <laughs> so it's kind of a funky looking day. Um, it's supposed to clear up and be 82, but right now it's quite dreary out. A little but, gloomy. Yeah, and so it's going to be, eh, I think, a couple of hours. The sun's going to come out. It's going to be pretty decent. So I don't know if you guys can see, but this is all the stuff I got stuck in the back. And then we have stuff in the trunk, which is the tables and chairs and tent. So, um, yeah, that's how we transport our stuff. I don't need a, to take a whole bunch of stuff or like a trailer or anything like that. Some people do because they have a bigger display, but not me. So we're going to head there now. And I honestly, I'm not going to lie, guys. I almost forgot to film this. <laughs> but I am going to try my best to remember to film more at the actual craft fair because that's where I always seem to forget. So, see you guys there. Okay, everybody, we are here and getting set up. There's Kenny. And uh, see, we got here a little early. There's other people setting up right now as well. But uh, this whole big area will be filled with people in a few hours and a lot more tents and as you can see uh, they're gonna have a petting zoo over there and um, they have a little area I'm gonna show you guys real quick over there it's a little pavilion I don't know if you guys can see it or not uh, but they're gonna be uh, having a little entertainment concert there's other people setting up as well so uh, we'll be back when we're all set up and see you then okay guys we're almost set up uh, we got about an hour to go before everything starts but uh, we're just kind of figuring where we're gonna place everything as you can see it's a lot more people here now opposed to earlier so we'll check back with you in a little bit see Kenny over there talking about her product with some customers and uh, it's in full swing now everyone's here just wanted to check in with everybody and uh, it's a beautiful day the weather definitely cleared up so uh, I guess we'll be talking to you in a little bit hey guys so finally I got enough time to show you guys what's going on as far as my table setup and all that stuff I know Gabe's been filming while I've been setting up, so I don't, I didn't bring as much as I normally bring, but um, this is what I have because a lot of stuff is not cured and I have so many craft fairs to do uh, in the next two, three months. So I'll just quickly show you guys how my table's set up. 
there are some soaps right here some more soaps there's my signage over there got my little display cake that I made for the Amy Wharton's challenge I got some wax melts here more soaps got some freebies which is free samples with my card attached and more soaps and then over here I have my wax melts and then we got some candy <laughs> and Gabe's hand and my cards and then this is to keep track of inventory there's my bags I'm gonna take out in a minute there's my PayPal and my square card readers my tablet and my money box so that's it guys um that's how I get ready for my craft fair